Baker Mayfield has officially been traded to the Carolina Panthers, so let's see how the next few years of his career go according to Madden. I am simulating until the end of the first season here. I have everything automated, so the CPU will be doing everything. We will just be seeing how his career turns out according to Madden. The first season did not go too well. They went 8-9. and nine. Let's see how Baker did statistically. Baker has 4,200 yards, 30 touchdowns, and 12 interceptions. What about running the ball? McCaffrey had 1,200 yards and 13 touchdowns. And receiving-wise, DJ Moore had 1,000 yards and 8 touchdowns. And in the first season here, the Kansas City Chiefs managed to win the Super Bowl. Heading into Season 2, it looks like Baker Mayfield is now an 81 overall, still with a star depth trip, but now he has a superstar receiver in DJ Moore. I'm not sure if DJ Moore was a superstar before we started this. And it looks like here in the second season, they went 7-10, and 10. so so far the Baker Mayfield experiment is not going well in Carolina. This season, he had 4,300 yards, 30 touchdowns to 9 interceptions, so same amount of touchdowns but less picks. Rushing, Christian McCaffrey goes for almost 1,500 yards and 15 touchdowns. And DJ Moore, another 1,000 yards and 3 touchdowns. And the second Super Bowl here in this video goes to the San Francisco 49ers. Now we are headed into year 3 of the Baker Mayfield experiment here in Carolina, and it looks like the offense is pretty much the same. And finally in year 3, the Panthers make the playoffs at 11-6. and six. And Baker Mayfield had a really good season, 4,500 yards, 40 touchdowns, and 8 interceptions. On the ground, McCaffrey ran for 1,500 yards and 14 touchdowns, and DJ Moore another 1,000 yards and 7 touchdowns, but Nazir Foote, a rookie or a second-year player that the CPU drafted, caught 13 touchdowns. But now let's see if we can win a playoff game. Sadly, the season would end in the wildcard round as we lose to Philadelphia in overtime 30-24. to And Baker Mayfield wins best quarterback in the NFC. And the Season 3 Super Bowl goes to the Dallas Cowboys who beat the Titans 38-14. And now headed into Year 4 here in Carolina, Baker Mayfield is now a superstar dev trade. One thing I'm slightly concerned about for this season is the defense was in the 80s, I'm pretty sure, last season for overall wise, and now they are 79. And it looks like this season did not go as well, we finished 7-10. Baker did kind of regress this season, 4,200 yards, 29 touchdowns to 16 interceptions, how did McCaffrey do? 1,300 yards and 12 touchdowns. And Nazir Foote caught 1,100 yards and 7 touchdowns. And in Season 4 of this, the Green Bay Packers win the Super Bowl. And it looks like Jalen Hurts won the NFL MVP. I am an Eagles fan, so that's a little bit shocking to see. But either way, Green Bay wins the Super Bowl. And now headed into Year 5 here with the Carolina Panthers. Baker Mayfield is an 83 overall. I'm pretty sure he dropped an overall point. Still a superstar dev trait, though. And we still have DJ Moore and Christian McCaffrey. But at the end of the year, we are 11 and 6 and in the playoffs. Baker Mayfield with 4,200 yards, 39 touchdowns, and 8 interceptions on the ground. McCaffrey, 1,500 yards, and 11 touchdowns. And receiving Nazir Foot with 1,000 yards and 13 touchdowns. And we win our first playoff game here in Carolina, 37 to 34. So the next game is against the Atlanta Falcons, and let's see if we can head to the NFC Championship. And we take down the Falcons 31 to 24. So now our next game is at Lambeau in the NFC Championship game against the Green Bay Packers. Can we get the win here? Sadly, we cannot get the win. We lose 31 to 49. And the Green Bay Packers win the Super Bowl rematch from last season against the Kansas City Chiefs 41 to 38. And that says Super Bowl MVP Russell Wilson. All right, well, that's wild. And it looks like we have dropped another overall point as we are now down to an 82 overall, still with a superstar dev trait, but that is getting a little bit concerning. And with year 6 here in Carolina, we failed to make the playoffs as we finish 7-10. and 10. Baker Mayfield finishes with 4,500 yards, 41 touchdowns, and 10 interceptions. Rushing-wise, McCaffrey goes 1,400 yards for 9 touchdowns. And receiving, DJ Moore caught 11 touchdowns, and Tommy Trimble caught 10. And the Baltimore Ravens stop the Packers from repeating as champions as they win this Super Bowl 41-35. And now here at year 7, Baker is down to a star dev trait and an 81 overall. But it does look like they gave him a new weapon. They now have Darnell Mooney, so Nazir Foot will actually play in the slot. But year 7 does end in a playoff berth as we finish 9-8. And Baker finishes with nearly 4,600 yards, 30 touchdowns, and 14 interceptions. Running the ball, Christian McCaffrey ends with 1,400 yards and 15 touchdowns. Who ran for another 10 touchdowns? We had 25 rushing touchdowns thanks to Jeff Graham. 
Receiving wise, DJ Moore had 1,000 yards and five touchdowns. Darnell Mooney caught three touchdowns and Nazir Foote caught five. So obviously since we finished in third place in our division, we are the seven seed. So can we pull the upset off against the two seed 49ers? No, we cannot. We lose 35 to 14 to Trey Lance and the Niners as he throws five touchdowns. And the Packers continue this insane run as they have now won three Super Bowls in four years. We now head into year eight here with the Carolina Panthers and Baker is now a 79 overall. So it's just steadily dropping every year. And year eight finishes with, I think, the worst record we've had so far in Carolina, six and 11. Baker Mayfield finishes with 4,200 yards, 30 touchdowns, and seven interceptions. Running the ball, McCaffrey ran for 1,000 yards and eight touchdowns, and receiving, Darnell Mooney caught five touchdowns, Nazir Foote caught six, and DJ Moore caught seven. And the Baltimore Ravens win their second Super Bowl in three years, taking down the 49ers 24 to 21. We head into year nine now here in Carolina with Baker Mayfield as a 78 overall. And here in year nine, shockingly, we have a winning record. We finish nine and eight and sneak into the playoffs. Baker with 4,600 yards, 26 touchdowns, and 15 interceptions. Is McCaffrey still the lead back? Yes, he is. 1,200 yards and 11 touchdowns. But Dominique Jackson, a rookie out of USF, has 13 touchdowns. And receiving DJ Moore caught 1,100 yards and nine touchdowns and Darnell Mooney 1,000 yards and five touchdowns. But we come in as the seventh seed, so let's see if we can knock off the two seed Atlanta Falcons. And we cannot. We lose 37 to 17, ending season nine in the wild card round. And here in season nine, the LA Chargers win their first Super Bowl, 37 to 17 over the Dallas Cowboys. And now we're about to jump into year 10 with a 75 overall Baker Mayfield. But the CPU did sign a new quarterback that is actually better than Baker. But because this video is about Baker and a 10 year simulation in Carolina, I have made him the starter. We will simulate this final season and see how bad it actually goes. And here in the 10th and final season, we managed to make the playoffs at 10 and seven. Baker goes for 4,800 yards, 37 touchdowns, and 20 interceptions running the ball. DeAndre Swift was our starting running back, 1,000 yards and seven touchdowns. And receiving Brian Edwards caught 12 touchdowns and DJ Moore caught 10. So we come in as a six seed. The Packers are the three seed. Let's see if we can stop what has been a dynasty in this video. And we cannot stop them. So that is how Baker Mayfield will end this as a Carolina Panther with a 400 yard performance and a loss. And in the 10th and final Super Bowl of this video, the Las Vegas Raiders take down the Washington Commanders 34 to 27. So obviously a bit of a disappointment that we did not win a Super Bowl here in Carolina, but we did put together some pretty decent seasons, including one that got us all the way to an NFC Championship game appearance. This was a bit different than my usual rebuild videos because I controlled nothing. I literally just simulated every year, let the CPU handle contracts and free agency, the drafting, all of it. So I could still do another one where I do like my regular five year rebuilds with Baker Mayfield and I probably will end up doing that eventually. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and this 10 year career simulation and I will talk to you guys next time.